Absolutely no smoking on my boat, no smoking. Also, no standing, no standing. He's all right, don't worry. As long as he's calm, that's all now. Also, everybody, no talking on the cell phone when the boat driver's talking. Why? Because the person next to you paid to listen to me, not you. <laughs> also, everybody, please keep your arms and elbows. Do not touch the bridges. Keep your arms and elbows down. Do not touch the bridges. Also, in front of me, I have this young lady right here, this young man right here, this young lady right here. And in case we go down like the Titanic, they're going to save a lot. Why? Because in front of them are 41 life preservers. Pass it on down to everybody and we're safe. But I tell you what, everybody, if you do find yourself set in water, stand right back up. It's only four to five feet deep, okay? <laughs> Those that are four feet, I'll come and get you. Those that can't even swim, I'll come and get you. Those that don't want me to get you, I'll leave you there. <laughs> now, I'm going to begin my tour here to my left in an area known as La Vita. Can y'all say La Vita? La Vita, everybody, in English. This right here was the beginning of San Antonio's first neighborhood. Matter of fact, this is where the Spanish colonial soldiers immigrated, dating back as far as the 1600s. Yeah, if you look closely, though, this restaurant is like houses, right? That's because the Germans and the French showed up, yeah? Had a little conversation. Who knows how it went? Probably went like, Como esta, senor? Bien, y tu? Bonjour, monsieur. Como tal, y vous? It's because you don't speak it. Come on, man. Welcome to the 800 River Theater. Seats up to 800 people to the left and to the right of the stage performance. If you take a look here right above the stage, you'll see some bells. Those bells actually represent the mission here at Santorin. Except for the one in the middle actually represents Mr. Robert H. H. Huckman, who is the architect and father of the Rivoire. By the way, the theater was built from 1939 to 1941. And as we come along here, buddy, you'll take a look here to my left and you'll see the family sitting down right here. Everybody waves to the family. <laughs> By the way, buddy, they've been waiting for a show since 1976. <laughs> Pretty much right. Now, as we come along, everybody, here we go. And, uh, by the way, one thing you'll notice about my boat is very quiet, right? And do you hear no, no smell, no smoke, no nothing? Why? Because everybody, the boat is running on electricity. Yeah. This is your brand new 2019 Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> now, take a look here to my right, and you'll see an actual uh, session. You see a cowboy, he's on a horse for three bulls. Now, as you look at it, everybody, Everybody, one thing unique about this building, everybody, this building was built back in 1930. It was once known as our San Antonio Library. Now today, everybody, known as the Frisco Western Architecture. Now, take a look at that bridge right in front of us, everybody. This is Preston Street Bridge. This bridge, everybody, has been with us since 1890. Yeah, 1890. I mean, imagine if it was 1890 right now, and all of a sudden we'd hear... 
Or this 1950? Or this 1960, 1970? Or this 1980? Tainted love! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you see everybody, as you can tell, this bridge itself is made out of cast iron. Literally, fills the table licking. Keep on ticking. Ladies and gentlemen, the year is 2018. This bridge is built back in 1890. Now, take a look to my right, and you'll see a table on the side. It's called Father Mass Day's table. The table right here commemorates the first Catholic Mass that happened here in San Antonio, June 13th, 1691. But ladies and gentlemen, it was placed on an island shaped as a heart, known as Marriage Island. Oh, yeah. Why do they call it Marriage Island, everybody? Because a consistent marriage actually happens on this island at least once a month. It is considered very, very deluxe, and if you ever renew your vows, keep on the island, it's considered very deluxe for every day. Yeah, that was warm. Yeah, and very twice in that time. No, I'm just playing, but it's considered very, very good luck. As a matter of fact, on Halloween, everybody, we had over four marriages in a row right on that. Now, as you come along here, buddy, I want you to take a look straight ahead. And you'll be looking for a building that looks like a beehive. Now, that right there, everybody, is going to be Bear County Corner. This courthouse, everybody, built up since 1896. And it's still a quarter off today. Now, let's take a look to my left. Look all the way up at the top of the building, everybody. You're going to see some gargoyles way up there sticking out as far as spouts. You guys ever seen a movie called Ghostbusters? Well, that's something else. Anyway, <laughs> hey, but this is for the young person who persists about They actually thought that they put gargoyles on the building, they don't bad enough to go away. But let me tell you, everybody. The building was finished back in 1949. Can anybody tell me what else was coming back in the year of 1929? The Great Depression. And guess what? Two months later, Mr. Smith Young lost the bill. As they had learned power life, they hope for the insurance company and lawyer offices inside. Now, coming up here to my right, everybody, here's another great example of recycling buildings. Here to my right, notice the homeless fleet. In 1919, everybody, this is once known as the largest drug and pharmacy company back in 1919. Now today, known as the homeless fleet. What is this going on, man? I feel like the chain gang. <laughs> Uh, you guys have to build it with a guard board, right? Pretty cool. If you guys ever put pictures, okay? I got a really good shot for you. Now, at this time, everybody, take a look over here towards me. Everybody get the camera ready. Right over here, look this way. No, not me. Everybody over here. And get the camera ready. Now, here we go. Now, one, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see the beautiful town of Lyons. Look at the American flag. <laughs> At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask if I have any first responders, any, anybody currently in the military, or any veterans on my boat at this time, to please raise your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a round of applause, please? Now, I'm going to ask you this question, but... Uh... Well, guess what? It doesn't. Why? Health control. Everybody, take a look at the sound of these walls. You see some shade marks. This is giving an indication of a crawlbridge located by me because it looks up like this. Divides water in front of me from the water in back of me. Because guess what, everybody? We're now entering the A620 Yeah, it's much more deeper in this location, but if everybody thinks look all the way behind me, you'll see plug unit five down that way. Now, most people say... I say no way, Jose. Why? Because you take a look right behind me, everybody. Plug unit five is a 15 foot drop which exits out the Guadalupe the River and into the Gulf of Mexico at about 240 miles away. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't have enough batteries, okay? Now, Anybody get for 
The game of all one. It's Steve. You guys are riding and I'm driving. Also, buddy, with the help of the WPA, the Army Corps of Engineers, the Constable Society, and Mr. Husband, everybody, they thought about two bridges up ahead, worked their way to this way, and all the way down to floodgate number four. So, ladies and gentlemen, when it rains, the water has priorities. Why? Because once the water hits the street, where do you think the water goes? Right here. As it's happened, though, you're asking where this water is coming from. Well, it's actually a spring, actually known as the Edwards Aquifer, which is located underneath us. Now, the spring actually shoots up three miles up north, heads through here, heads away down south, and we're safe. But unfortunately, everybody, we can't go further up north. Why? Because this will end up becoming a three-hour tour. But everybody, there's another boat known as the actual Gold Rio Taxi Boat. Now, when you take this Gold Rio boat, it'll take you up north. <coughs> as you do, you'll see people's apartments, you'll see restaurants. Then you'll go through a levee lock system, just like the Panama Canal. We lift the boat about nine feet up, and you head all the way down north, and you're safe. But as you go further, you'll go to the Pearl Brewery area, where there's more shopping, more restaurants, and more fun. By the way, the tree in front of you is the oldest tree I've ever worn at 300 years old. And it's known as a bald slapper tree. Pretty cool, huh? Hey guys, remember when I was driving and everybody was going right in front of me? Right, remember that? Remember that? Look at them now. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at me like, what are you talking about? Now, you guys remember floodgates number four and number five? People right above you, this is floodgate number three. But this right here, everybody, is an actual three-ton garage door. Yeah, starts right here, comes straight down, lets all that water head south, then you get a over there, comes up like the drawbridge, water goes over it, so this water finds its way all the way around there. By that time, flood gate number five is wide open, and this whole flood channel that way is raging water around it. Pretty cool, huh? Now, take a look, everybody, to my left, and you'll see the Jura and Suites. But in 1921, everybody, this used to be a place you used to pay a light bill. Yeah, CPS building. But I want to show you something pretty unique about this building, though. You take a look at these windows, right? And you count three levels. One, two, three. You see that little ledge up there, everybody? As high as that third level is, we'll give you an exact idea how high the water was back in 1921. By the way, everybody, this building was finished three weeks before the flood of 1921. Pretty cool, huh? Now, as we move along, everybody, take a look straight ahead, and we've got another location here to my right, known as the Aztec Eden. That location where you can actually ride the whole scene on the walk, known as the Aztec Eden. Now, in 1926, everybody, this used to show a sign of the movie. We're glad that we did it since the time's past, the biggest restaurants and shops. As a matter of fact, everybody, the bar of the is actually run by the House of Blues now. As a matter of fact, I actually got the chance to go check out Mr. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he was performing there. Yeah. About three months ago. I said, what's up, Snoop Dogg? I got to meet him, and he said, what do you do? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> by the way, in the 1930s, also a gentleman by the name of Charlie Chapman performed there. You guys know that guy? True story about this guy. Did you know he actually had a contest, a costume contest of himself? Yeah, and he won third place. True story, by the way. Now, you guys ever seen a movie called Selena starring Jennifer Lopez? You remember the part of the movie when she's on a bridge? Yeah, that's it right there, right in the movie. And today we call this bridge. Salinas Bridge, do it for Salinas. This is the bridge of Salinas. <laughs> now, take a look here to my left. This is the La Monte del Rey. Back in 1853, though, this used to be the St. Mary's School of Mormons University. Now, the university got to the point where this got so congested. So in 1893, buddy, they moved to the northwest side of San Antonio. As they did that, buddy, it became St. Mary's University Law School. Now, two of them graduated from the university, came back and said, hey, this would be a perfect place for a four-star hotel. So somebody left there, buddy. <coughs> they opened up the La Mansion del Rio in 1968. Now today, everybody known as the Omni La Mansion del Rio. Now, I want to ask y'all this question, but, uh... Y'all want to see something? Yeah. I said y'all want to see something? Yes! All right, everybody, take a look to the left side of the boat. Everybody get comfortable. Here we go now. Everybody get comfortable. Here we go. That one, two, three. Look at the top of the building. Here to my left, look all the way up to the top of this building. Whoa. They like a big old flat wall, huh? But everybody, that's an optical illusion. Matter of fact, that right there is actually the first fully air conditioned, full service hospital built in the USA known as the next hospital. And who else is back to your Also, everybody, this one Miss uh, Carol Burnett was born in the Central Hospital. And by the way, it's still a hospital to this day. Now, this area right here, though, is an eye library. This water closes and everything goes on. To a two in the bowl. Two in the bowl. Now, if you 
of this hotel in front of us there, buddy. This is the Hyde Hotel. Back in 1985, everybody, the Hyde Hotel wanted to be the tallest hotel in the San Antonio area. But see, the Daughters of the Republic said no. Anybody know why? Because everybody on the other side of this hotel is the Alamo. And it is said, We did not cast the shadow upon the Alamo. <laughs> why not? In respect of the men who fought and died during the Battle of the Alamo. You see it, buddy. You don't see the most big cities. You see a bunch of big tall buildings, right? Well, that's one reason why you don't see that here in San Antonio. Now, see you to my right, and you'll see an architectural looking building. That right there is known as the Casino Club Building. Back in 1947, this was us Germans had our own private club. And let me tell you, we had lots of fun. Now, see everybody, the shops and restaurants located in the bottom. But the family is an apartment complex that has a four-year wait list. Matter of fact, everybody, there's a flag up there, on the state flag of Texas. Everybody, did y'all you know at one point Texas used to be its own country? Yeah, we call them the Republic of Texas. Now the United States get together and call them Texas, they hate Texas, Texas. We want y'all to become a part of the United States. And Texas says, well, as long as we get to fly a roll state flag and sign the American flag, then we will here to become a part of y'all in the United States. So for this day, everybody, Texas, the actual only state that can fly their own state flag. Just as high as the American flag. By the way, everybody, that's how we earned the nickname, the Lone Star State. Now, today I thought it was really everybody, but I caught the wave land. Why? Because you wave for people. So if you guys get a chance, go ahead, everybody. Let's get some waves going. Here we go. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on, kids, help me out. Let's wave. Hey, guys, how y'all doing? Come on, everybody, wave. Look at our hands, they're moving. How y'all doing? What's going on, cowboy? How y'all doing? Come on, everybody. Hey, buddy, hey, what's going on, Art? Hey, how y'all do? Hey, look at us, we're on a boat. By the way, buddy, these people here, we call these people tourists. They don't need to call them tourists. Now, stay with you to my right. And uh, right above me, brothers, you see the name where it says right there? Robert A.K. Tuckman, ladies and gentlemen. This one right here in my office. I'm known as an architect and the father of their walk. If you guys want to know what I look like, here's my statue here to the right. I want to support the people that a business to survive here on this wall. And just one of us, he was right, why? Because four years later, after he moved to there, that's how Rio opened up right next door. And this is the gentleman, that's how Rio was the first restaurant to put on the wall since 1946. Meantime, everybody, we got some people here. You guys want to wait to video? Table 51, table 51, I'm waving at you. <laughs> Table 52, table 52, I'm waving at you. <laughs> table 57, table 57, let's wait. <laughs> table 60, <laughs> table 61, stop the conversation, I'm waving. <laughs> table 62, <laughs> table 63, can I have a cookie? <laughs> table 64, <laughs> table 65, somebody needs to clean table 66. <laughs> table 67, <laughs> table 69, do you have a taco? <laughs> I guess I want to now, as I move along, everybody, I want to answer this question, but, uh... Well, this one, that's my answer. Here we just got there, buddy. That was the answer to one of the people called the Native Americans live. This one up through here and back, it's all man-made. Yeah, but in 1960, at the big World Fair, we had over 5.2 million tourists coming to visit our city. And ever since then, everybody, it's act like a virus. Why do I say like that? Well, because everybody today's river walk is the number one tourist attraction in the whole state of Texas. Anybody guess the number two? The Alamo, right down the street. Yeah. Yeah. As time goes on, though, everybody, more and more people not only come to San Antonio to come and visit, but they're saying, yeah, it's getting crowded here, yeah. Matter of fact, the reason why I said everybody, San Antonio now today is going to be seventh largest city at 2.4 million people. By the year 2020, it's predicted will be at 3.1. And I'm predicting I'm going to pay more rent. Now, take a look straight ahead, you're going to see that hotel known as the Marriott Hotel. In 1985, everybody, there was another hotel that was right there known as the Fairmont Hotel. Now, the Marriott Hotel comes along and says, we're going to knock down the hotel, we're going to put a beautiful Marriott right there. But can anybody guess who said no? Yes, very good, sir. The Conservation Society. We came along and we said you can have that better hotel because it's very historical. 
So they didn't prove it. And get what? They did. Ladies and gentlemen, they literally got an actual three-story high hotel that weighed over 16,000 tons. They used dramatic tires with an actual hydraulic system and went at a speed of 2.4 miles per hour. It took them approximately four days to start from where the Marriott sat, right there. Then they went this way, across the actual Marriott in front of it. Then they went this way, down Market Street. That's went down Market, then a quick left turn down Alma. Now sit there, buddy, go about a block and a half down Alma Street, and you will find the summer on Still there ever since 1985. Now, everybody, I know that sounds pretty amazing, but guess what that actually happened? As a matter of fact, <laughs> if you get a chance to get bored later on, go to YouTube and you can actually see the video from 1985. Now, take a look at my right up the sky, but you're going to see a tower in the sky. That is going to be Tower of the Immersion. It stands at 700 feet south of the antenna, 622 feet at the bottom of the antenna. It has an observation deck and a revolving restaurant that makes a complete spin in one hour. And we're still there, ladies and gentlemen. By the World Fair of 1968. <coughs> now, as you come along there, buddy, here we go. And let me tell you guys, when they actually were moving that hotel, they literally had to put their, uh, their, their braids together. Why do I say that? Well, everybody, because if you take a look at the bridge above your head, it was built in 1968. The hotel I talked about was built in 1906. The moving of it was 1985. So, ladies and gentlemen, they reinforced the bridge with good old two by fours. Then, as you see where the rock meets the bridge right here, they placed the bottle of wine stuck it between there and stuck it between there. Why did they do this? Because they had no idea if this bridge was strong enough, so they had to do it a different way. Why do I say this? Take a look over here. Now, you see where the actual building up there with the M? That's what Marriott used to be. That's what Fairmont used to be. So, they basically had to go through here, make a right turn at the light. And we're at the same speed we're going right now across the bridge. By the way, later on that day, they had a glass of wine. Now, welcome to the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. Everybody, Mr. Henry B. was known for his work that he did for the city of San Antonio. Matter of fact, everybody, Mr. Henry B. was the first Hispanic American to use Congress from the 1960s to 19, uh, uh, 1990. Now, take a look at my left, you can see a beautiful mosaic. This is called the confluence of civilized civilization. There are over 440,000 pieces of chips made of one inch. All those codes have been reported cut from around the world except for the blue tile. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been trying to figure out where we get the blue tile. Please don't quote me on this, but I just say who okay. <laughs> But everybody, as you can see, it's 42 feet tall and 133 feet wide. It's finished, built, built and finished by the World Fair of 1968. You're going to have to come on through. You're going to have to go on through and then let come this way.